going on guys welcome to another edition of the missing tooth mukbanger and today guys we are doing hawaiian oxtail soup why don't you guys take a look at it and tell me what you guys think look at this i did a shorts on it not too long ago and these are the leftovers from the, the day before but there's still a lot going on so i'm gonna do a little b-roll so you guys can see what it is and y'all will really uh be having your mouth watering in a little bit check this out guys I wanted to tell you what's inside our oxtail soup, but take a look first at our rice. We have on top some green onions, some cilantro, um, some Chinese mustard greens. If you guys have ever had that before, you can buy that at the Asian store and check out this big old oxtail, y'all. It's been uh, simmering in some ginger, some salt, some black pepper, um, just some really fresh type of uh, greenery. I mean, and some peanuts. That's how we do it here. And a little bit of star anise. Um, and there it is. Oh. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that uh, little B-roll that I had going on so you guys can see the top here. Um, but wanted to show with you um, what we did. This is Hawaiian-style oxtail soup. Yeah, my mouth is wow. watering because it's so good. You saw all the veggies that were in there. And um, you saw that I explained all the veggies that I put in there earlier. Uh, but I just wanted to eat with y'all. Have a little oxtail soup. Um, and have a little kiki, see what's going on with y'all. See what I did there? I took a little bit of the soup and some of these veggies, throw it in here in the rice. That's how we do it. Wait till y'all see this oxtail in my hands. Now, the first time I had this kind of style of soup, my mom makes it a little bit different. My mom makes it with tomato sauce and um, potatoes and carrots. So she makes it that way. Um, I forgot the other things that my mom puts in there. But that's how we grew up with oxtail um, in a soup. But I first had this oxtail, this kind of oxtail soup in Las Vegas. Las Vegas. There's a hotel in Las Vegas called California Hotel. It's downtown. And they are known for wine style food. So they have this <clears throat> restaurant just downstairs where they sell um, all kinds of Asian dishes um, in their 24 hour circle. They have like 24 hour, like a, it's almost like a, a Denny's, but it's like a, a diner style in the hotel. I don't remember what it's called, guys, in the back of my head, in the back of my mind. But that's the first time I tried oxtail soup. I must have been maybe 20. 19 or 20 and I couldn't gamble yet but you know we would go with our college friends over there and there was two places we would eat we'd be upstairs for the teriyaki chicken the spamosubi and at night we'd have their oxtail soup so this last time we went to Vegas back in September of course I didn't film it guys I had it again and I hadn't had it I haven't had it in probably 20 years or maybe 15 to 20 years always had my mom's kind of uh, oxtail soup so y'all let me tell you I fell in love again and I learned how to make it so now I learned how to make oxtail soup Hawaiian style oxtail soup Obviously, there's different ways to do it, but I found a recipe that I've been sticking to. It's probably the third time I made it since we went to Vegas, and let me tell you something. It's so bomb. <coughs> Sorry. I'm going to choke it, but I'm going to use my hand so y'all can see this oxygen. Wow! Yo, man. Yo, man. Yo, man. 
I really want to slurp it. I really, really want to slurp it. So tender. It's so tender. So if you guys ever have a chance to make this kind of style of oxtails in a soup, mm. again, there's so many ways, guys, and people have different kinds of palates. So mm -mm. I say try it. If you guys like ginger, if you guys like peanut broth that's very hearty, mustard greens, Chinese mustard greens, um, some green onions, some cilantro, this is the meal for you. I love ginger like this slices. I'll show you guys. Slice ginger like that. Oh my god. Let me turn it up away. Take some of that fat away. <clears throat> One thing about oxtails, oxtails guys is there's a lot of fat around it. So what I did is I trimmed a lot of it off after I parboiled it. still a lot of fat around in the bone area but by that point when you get to cooking it for three hours you don't have to worry too much because it gets into the soup and you can actually <clears throat> skim that fat off um, as, you, as your soup cools down you can skim some of that fat off and you just have a lot of that hearty hearty beef broth, um, especially with the bones, mm. you know, a good bone beef broth is so amazing. Mm. Shout out to Mama Sunday. I know you be having this in Hawaii, sis. Mm. Well, guys, Every time I'm about to end this, I get tongue tight. Alright guys, <clears throat> don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, hope you guys are enjoying our April vlogs and our noodle dishes that we're making. The trials of these um, noodles all throughout April. Um, don't forget to also check out our membership channel guys. and. We'll be seeing you guys on the travel field again so coming in may you'll be seeing some more of our travel videos or travel um, places we're gonna go so me is coming back with the spring uh, version of travel eat 2021 but that'll be a surprise you'll see exactly where we're gonna be all right guys we'll see you guys on the next one Bye, y'all.